Hey everyone, let's take a look at number 15. So the principal of a large local high school wants to know what proportion of her students are planning to attend college. So right out the gate, I see the word proportion. Uh, suppose that 72% of all students in her high school are planning to attend. Okay, so there's my parameter. And I know it's parameter because it says all, right? So they have the parameter. So it says, what is the probability that an SRS of size 200 will give a sample proportion all right, between 66 and 78. Okay, so taking a look at this, there's a couple things I can notice. I, I notice that I have proportions I'm dealing with, but I also have this sample here and they're talking about a probability. So I'm looking at a sampling distribution for proportions. All right, so this is gonna be a chapter seven problem. Right, and you might be thinking, well, how did I know it's not chapter eight? Well, they didn't ask you anything about a confidence interval. It's not chapter nine. They didn't ask you about a hypothesis test. They're asking you about a probability, so that puts us back in chapter seven, which, okay, that's fine. Let's go figure out what my variables are as we move through this. All right, so if I think about these 200 students, right, again, it's a categorical variable because I'm going to go up to each of them and say, hey, are you planning on attending college? And they're either going to tell me yes or no, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep track of the number of students who want to attend college in our sample of 200. And let me just put or add in here that if you want to go straight into crunching the numbers for the sampling distribution for P prime, that, that's fine. I, I'm just trying to draw out every step. So then our sample proportion will be the proportion of students who want to attend college in our sample of 200. And then we need to figure out what are the sampling distribution numbers. So I need to figure out, I'll put my three question marks and so we're going to figure out, can I put an N here? Where is it centered? What's the standard error? So let's go figure some of this stuff out. So the first thing I have to do is figure out where is this thing centered? And they told us that the parameter is 72%. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that here, right? I think that this is, not I think, this is 0.72. And I know the formula for standard error. In proportion land, it's the square root of P1 minus P over N. So for this problem, I'm going to put in 72% for P, and then I'm going to put in 200 for N. So let me go swap that out with our numbers for our problem. So this is going to say, oops, here we go. This is going to be 0.72 times 1 minus 0.72 over, and what was our sample size? 200. Okay. Let me go see what that number is just so I have that. And I'm going to head to my calculator app. Let me clear this out. 0.72 times 1 minus 0.72. I need to divide that by, what was it, 200? And then I need to take the square root of that answer. So it looks like I have about a 3.2% margin of error. So I'm going to write 0.032 here. But the big one is, can I put the N here? And I need the N to be there so I can use normal CDF. And my guess is yes, because none of these answers over here in A through D, they don't have the option that says you can't do this problem. So my guess is I'm going to hit normality. But let's, let's figure this out for sure. All right, so if I want to assess normality, I need to check NP prime. I need to check N1 minus P prime. Oh, actually, not P prime, P. Let me be clear. We have the parameter, so we should use it. And then I need to check, is my sample size small relative to my population? Okay, so let's go through this. My sample was 200. My sample proportion was 72. When I crunch those numbers, I'm going to get 144. And sure enough, that is greater than or equal to 10. So that means that if you sampled 200 folks, you should get 144 of them saying, yes, I want to, or I'm planning on attending college. And on the complement of that, right, I have 200 times 1 minus 0.72. If I crunch that number, that's going to give me 56, which is also greater than or equal to 10. But what that's saying for these folks, let me get a different um, color in here. We're saying out of that sample of 200, we expect about 56 to say, no, they're not going to, uh, they're not planning on attending college. So take note again that 144 and 56, they should add up to your sample, sample size because we're talking about quote unquote success or failure. And in terms of is sample size small relative to my population? Well, if I take 200 
and I multiply it by 10, I do get 2,000. And I'm going to assume that since they gave us this phrase, large high school, that my sample size is small relative to my population. So what that allows me to do is put the N here. So let me go ahead and do that. Oops, let me hit my check mark again and erase this. All right, so since it's normally distributed, let's now let's go to our probability question, right? So it said here, what is the probability that the sample proportion is between 66 and 78%. So I want, and I'll, I'll mark this over here, I want the probability that my sample proportion, which is P prime, is between 66 and 78%. Well, since I have a normal distribution, I can go with normal CDF. We've got a little low, high, what was our mean? It was 72% and our standard error was 0.032. So I'm gonna go crunch this number and then I'm gonna try and figure out which of these four numbers it falls into. And just looking at my options, when I look at it, I'm gonna draw the graph. Before I actually go crunch this number, I just want us to think, like we know that 72 is under the peak and that it's got about a 3% margin of error. So what I mean by that, this is about 75, this is about 78. If I go 3% the other way, this would be what, 69, this would be 66. So just thinking about those numbers, if I think about the area that I would be shading, right, I'm gonna shade a good chunk of this. I'm almost two deviations above and below the mean with my 66. Let me again color code this. This would be around 66%, this would be around 78%. That's a large proportion, meaning I am fairly confident I can rule out B and C. I actually think D is probably too low. My guess is that it's gonna be A, but let's let's go crunch the number. So I have to go, let's see, 66, 78, 72, and then that number, okay. So let me head over to my calculator, and we're gonna go with normal CDF, and then my low is gonna be 66. I think the high was 77, the mean was 72, and the standard error was 0.032, right? I have that number right above it, okay. And if I crunch it, I get about 0.939. All right, so let me write this over here. This is 0.939. Oh, and then when I look, yep, sure enough, that is answer A. All right, thanks.